Yesterday was a game that showed just how deep this New York Liberty team is. They took on the Atlanta Dream at home at the Barclays Center, and the Dream jumped out to the early lead, leading by as much as 16 in the second quarter at 31-15. to It was honestly a sloppy game on both sides, lots of dumb turnovers, missed easy layups, easy shots. And Sabrina Ionescu for the Liberty had one of the worst games, not her worst game of the season, shooting 3 for 17 from the field, 2 for 11 from 3, only 10 points in the whole game, scoreless actually in the first half, and a play uncharacteristic of her committing a take foul in the third quarter that sent the dream to a, a, the line for a free shot plus possession. John Paul Jones, another one of the Liberty's best players, also had a poor game, only 5 points and 4 rebounds for her. She's a starting center, and so you might ask, how did the Liberty manage to pull off this win despite shooting sub 40% from the field and that early deficit? Well, they forced 18 turnovers while only committing seven, and that also led to them shooting 71 shots as opposed to only 60 by Atlanta. Brianna Stewart also carried this team, and she had a great game. She had a double-double, 22 points, 12 rebounds, two steals, and three for seven from three. But Nigelini Hamilton also had a great game, 6 for 12 from the field, 4 for 6 from 3, added 18 points of her own. And Brianna Stewart, the leading scorer for this game for the Liberty, she taught after the game about what she saw on the court that she was able to exploit. Um, just being aggressive, you know, knowing that uh, for the majority of the game, I had um, like two centers guarding me. Uh, so attacking off the perimeter, um, anything that I can get in transition because that's where, you know, they're not kind of clogged with the paint and things like that. But, uh, yeah, being aggressive, knowing that some of our teammates were a little bit under the weather and making sure that no matter what, you know, it's our next excuse for, for us um, and we continue to get this win and defend them. Sure. The crowd was also super active, super supportive throughout the game of the Liberty, even when they were down 16. And when the Liberty took the lead in the second half, they really just never looked back. And the Dream did try to apply some heavy pressure in the middle of the third quarter. And they were able to force some turnovers, make the Liberty miss some shots. But unfortunately for them, they just didn't have enough offensive firepower to take back the lead. Despite the fact that the Liberty were sloppy on a couple of rebounds defensively. And the Dream weren't able to get a few offensive rebounds. They just weren't able to convert. And then in the fourth quarter, the Liberty came out, went on a 10-0 run to start the quarter, made the lead 70-59. And then from there, the Dream were never really able to get back into the game. And the final score was 81-75, to New York Liberty. There were a couple of record stat updates you could call it throughout the game. Sabrina Ionescu, uh, she reached 2,000 points. She's currently number 7 on the Liberty all-time scoring list. And number 1 is actually Tina Charles with 3,739 points. And she happened to be on the opposing side of the court with the Atlanta Dream as she left a while back and Brianna Stewart was also in this game the fastest woman to reach 5,000 points in WNBA history so congratulations to her I will be beat reporting the next game as well and that will be on Tuesday where the Liberty will take on the Lynx at the Barclays Center with WFUV Sports I'm Will Jane